happy to know here around today. Yeah, uh, there was a trade this morning I was trying to get my hands on. I was telling Neil, I was like, okay, I think it's about to happen. And then, and then I sent the order up and it just, the speed at which it was moving at, at, at that specific time, I was like, oh, it, was, it was 20, by the way. So essentially the, what we were working with was this. Uh, I, I didn't have 30, actually, I did, yeah, I did, didn't have 35 at the time. So I had levels like this. So this is a 30 minute chart, it doesn't really matter what time frame you use. But essentially what I was looking for was that low that we kind of got close to on Friday. When you put in an extreme point on a very quiet day, the amount of, not that it's relative volume that's required to turn a market, it's not that high, but at the same time, it's an important level to keep an eye on. So for me, the fact that 20 was willing to hold up here on Friday meant that for me, anything below 20 that held up should be a short. So we were coming into 20 uh, and breaking down. I was just waiting for it a little bit, and then it just started accelerating. It was like 18, and then it was at 15, then it was at 11. I was like, uh, okay, so we're not going to. Uh, it took some time and then it just went. And uh, so that's the trade I was looking for was the 20 break against 35, which is going to be roughly the high we were putting in just before then. So I'm still waiting on this. So now we're stuck between 95 on the low end here and 35 up top. And we're trading right here around 10 ish, 7, 8, 10, right? 7, 8, whatever, just underneath 10. So there could be potential bounces here south of 5 into 95 for potential longs. That's still open. And then, of course, if we do get a nice little bounce here back into the high teens, into the low 20s, I'm willing to go short here against 35. So we are kind of, the initial trade south of 20 has gone, and now we've got to set up the next trade, which is going to be if we were to continue down, what's our option down there? And if we were to bounce up, what's our possibilities on a bounce as well? So that's the next, up, uh, next set of trades that I'm kind of marking off here. And of course, if we break either one of those, well, specifically, 95 opens the door to the downside. 35 is a little bit messier because of how we traded above it. But I would rather just stick within these zones and kind of figure out the trade after the open, given that the window for the pre-market trade is closed at this point. All right, let's go uh, to...